Welcome back to Be Empowered. I'm Daniel, and today we're going to be replacing the running boards on my 2008 Chevy Silverado. Everything on my truck is blacked out, so we've got black ones to replace these. These were provided by Yentatech, and we'll put a link to these down in the description. So these running boards will fit any Chevy Silverado, a crew cab only, from 2007 to 2018. Now, it'll fit a 1500, 2500, or 3500. So, with that said, let's get unboxing this thing so we can start putting them on. Okay, let's unbox this thing. Woo! That was easy. Package nice. Looks like we got some mounting hardware here. Nuts and bolts and washers. Oh man, actually that's... That's pretty good quality because the ones that's on there now are not, they're not this nice. So this is, this is good. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, they're, they're good. good yeah, that's, thick. that's pretty thick because I know when we had the other ones put on yours, they weren't like that. Nope. All right, let's get these bad boys out and see what they look like. I'm excited. Now these are supposed to hold 450 pounds, I think, or 425 pounds each side. So that's, that's pretty hefty. They're made, they're made out of aluminum. The steps are actually ABS good quality ABS. As far as the spec sheet, they look really good. And I'll put the link to the spec sheet down below in the description. So let's get started. Ooh, man. Oh, they slide so you can make them uh, oh, okay. slide in any direction you want. That's why these are kind of universal for 2007 to 2018 because you can do all this. Man, those are, those oh, are wow. wide. Those are a lot wider than the ones I have. Oh, that's high impact right and there. Li and they're light too, they're really light. I mean, they're super light. I tell you what, before we get started, let's put these next to the ones I have now and just kind of compare what they look like. All right, so that's the current ones and this will be the new ones. Oh, dude, look That how... matches perfect. Oh, that's perfect. I like how wide they are. That gives like big feet like us, we can, I mean, I do have this size 13 shoes, so this will help. Oh, yeah. And I really like the way it looks. How much wider are they than the, the I mean, ones? look. Oh, that's probably put that back up there. Round. It's probably three inch round um, tubing. And this is like five inches. Or they're six. They're six inches across is what so. the spec sheet says. They're six inches. So look at, look at the difference there. If you haven't seen any of the other videos on performing upgrades in my truck, like the silk blacking out the Silverado, the grill, the tailgate, you know, the rims, everything. We have a whole playlist dedicated to this truck. So go ahead and click that playlist. It's right up in the corner and check it out. Let's get started. I'm excited. I want, I want to get these on. I want to see what they look like. Let's right. do it. Let's get at it. All right, so what parts are we going to need? Let's go over the parts list. All right, so the parts we're going to need. Mounting hardware. Instructions. A 12 millimeter socket and ratchet. Another 12 millimeter box in wrench. A screwdriver. This is sort of optional, but you'll see why later. Safety glasses. 100% use safety glasses. Some other optional equipment or tools. A level and air ratchet. Okay, now let's get into installation. All right, for most installations, you won't have to remove an older running board, but in case you do, obviously, remove those first but i'm going to go ahead and get this done and then we can start on the full installation okay we got the old running boards off i had a little bit of trouble that's because i had some rusty bolts and when that happens your friends are penetrating oil and a hammer that did the trick got it off and now let's start on the new ones okay i've got it laid out in about the same area that the uh, brackets will be installed so what happens is you'll have these right here that will slide up into some pre-factory holes. You'll actually thread your bolt through these. Let's get started. As you start installing this, you'll notice that you're gonna see these little X's. Around one of these X's is where you're gonna install each mounting point for the four mounting brackets. You're gonna need this right here. This is where, this is where your flathead screwdriver is gonna come in real handy. So you just pop this off. Now take your mounting hardware Pop it in just like that. Your bracket's gonna screw right into that. Okay, we'll move on down to the next one. You'll see the same thing. Pop that out, voila. 
exact same process. Now, once you get down to the next one, the, now we started from the, the bed of the truck forward. This bolt hole will work. You also have a bolt hole right here. So you don't need to mount anything in these two holes. Now, if yours is rusted as mine, you may it may take a little extra effort to get it to, to thread, but it will work. And the same thing with the, the fourth and final mount. You have one here and one here, and then that's it. So now that we have that started, let's go ahead and start mounting the brackets. For the top bolt, just take it and thread it in just a little bit because you're gonna have to hang the bracket just like that. You slide it in from that way and then it hangs down just like this. Now we're gonna go ahead and mount the bottom so that way it has, we can adjust it as needed and then we'll move on to the next one. Always make sure you put a washer on each one of these bolts and you put the bolt through the bottom and just thread on the nut as hand tight and then you can hand tighten the bolt in on top too and then that way you can move it left and right and you can slide it up and down if you need to adjust it and then once you get that in there let's move on to the next few i'll speed it up all right we got the top bolt started i'm going to ratchet it in a little bit because this these holes are really rusty and it's going to take a little bit to get it up in there and then we'll uh We'll do the bottom. Hey, if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button and hit the like button if you like this video. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future content. We got all the mounting brackets in now, installed. Now we're gonna install the actual running board. As you can see, there's already bolts here, which means you just take these out, you loosen them up. Whenever you fit this over your mounting brackets, you'll put the bolts in, they slide up and down. You'll just put the bolts in the nut that lines up. You can move them wherever you want and then make sure it's level and you're good. So let's get started on that process and we'll be done. All right, on the front, we're gonna line up the bolts to be right where we need them. And then we're just gonna hand tighten them. All right, we got this one. We're gonna move down the other three and then we're going to situate it exactly where we want it. All right, before we tighten everything up, we're gonna make sure it's the correct distance we want it out and also forward and back. So let's do that and tighten it up and then we'll be good. Make sure it's, it looks good right now. Let's make sure it's level, perfectly level. So it's tighten up all the bolts and then we'll do a walk around, show you what it looks like and show you how it looks around underneath, how the bolts should look. We'll be good. We got the driver's side done. Now we're gonna work on the passenger side. However, we won't bore you with that because you've already seen the install. So let's get started on that and we'll fill you in when we're done. All right, let's do a run through of what the bolt should look like once you're done. So here's the back closest to the, tr the bed of the truck. Here's the next one. They all look the same. These will, these will actually use the supplied nuts and hardware. However, the ones towards the front will not. They'll actually be screwed directly into the body. So that's what you should look like when you're done. Let's do the final walk around and show you what it looked like before and after. So let's, let's see what the finished product looks like. So here's a before shot. And now here's what it looks like now. Woo! That is fire, look at that. That looks so much better than that chrome running board. Woo, let's take a look at the other side. Man, those look so good. So let's, let's, uh, let's test how strong they are. Let's test the strength of these suckers. 
Those are sturdier than the metal ones, the actual steel ones. These have two more supports than the other ones that I had. And they are, they're stronger. Like they don't flex at all. No, there's no flexing on that. No flex at all. 100%. If you need running boards for your truck and you like the way these look, buy them. Like I said at the beginning of the video, there's a 10% off discounted link in the description. Good till the 7th of October. So take advantage of that. All right, so we just got finished installing these awesome running boards from Yenta Motors by Yenta Tech. So my honest review, I love them. They're 100% improvement over what I had. They're solid. I think they look way better on the truck. And the only thing I can complain about at all is maybe that I had a couple bolts break. Luckily I had some extras laying around. I think that was my fault because I used the impact. So maybe don't use the impact. Use just a socket. It still works. So just a word of advice. So with that said, that's going to do it for us today. If you like the content, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not subscribed. Hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any future content. God bless you. God bless America. Be empowered out.